24-7, man, I've got to tell them I'm an everyday woman. You think being a mom and a wife is easy? We have Danielle here to let us know it's not. Welcome back to Everyday Woman with Danielle Adisi for Real Moments with Real Moms. Danielle Adisi, you've just had a baby about a year ago. Yep. Yes. You had a 4th of July baby. Yep. What was that like? Oh, man. Well, actually, I was afraid that when um, I approached the due date, I would be very afraid. But um, I just, it was so miserable. By the end, you're just so mm -hmm. grateful. <laughs> you didn't even, you're still like, oh, thank God, yeah. My family came out and they were all just waiting. It was a week after the due date. I was afraid they were going to have to go. And it was just, uh, I was really glad when the, went into labor and stuff. How was holiday and staff? Because it's the 4th of July. Yeah, um, she, well, uh, is, uh, she was actually born the, the first and then we stayed in till the third. So by, by the 4th of July, we were able to watch from our own home the, the fireworks and that was really, really mm -hmm. wonderful. So this is your first year of motherhood. Yeah. What would you say is the most rewarding, rewarding part about it? Man, uh, when she cuddles, she's a very active child. She hardly ever sits still. Um, so when she finally calms down and takes that moment to really appreciate me and, you know, that look in her eyes, that's just, I can't, uh, nothing is like that in the entire world. Was there something within this first year that you didn't expect? Like, we all get the book, moms get that book, yep. what to expect when you're, when you're expecting. expecting. <laughs> but then there are things we don't expect. So was there something that you didn't expect? Yes. Um, when I became, you know, when I was pregnant, I knew there would be days where I was very overwhelmed. I knew there would be late nights, there would be hard moments. What really struck me was that the, it never ends. It never, ever, ever ends for even just a moment. And just, it's like a marathon, you know? I was, I was ready for some sprints, but it doesn't ever, <laughs> I, you know, slow down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and that was really difficult um, with my family not being around. Uh, they, they live in Wisconsin. I moved to LA about two years ago. So uh, that, was, that was a big surprise. So you're a metropolitan lady. Um, married, yes. yes. Yes, And how is it with your husband? Now, you've been married how long? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years, so pretty it was early earlier on. than we expected, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, he is in absolutely incredible. Um, surviving in the city together does put some strain, especially with the baby. Um, uh, we've really worked hard to be supportive, but it's it's hard when you look at each other and you see the just the tiredness in, in the mm -hmm. eyes. It's difficult. Um, yes. Now, how do you? What would you say is the most the thing that you've done that he's done for you that has really been supportive that maybe you didn't expect? Wow. He. Um, gosh, uh, he's done so many things. Everything from uh, just just housework. That's something I wasn't really mm -hmm. expecting him to do. Are you working? I am. I do. Yeah. When I um, first, I went back to work at six weeks. Um, I work at, uh, at Starbucks for the health insurance benefits, um, and he he earns the the income. Um, but I went back at six weeks. I was working 35 uh, hour work weeks. I've cut back to about 15. Uh, it's mm -hmm. kind of slowly. I've become more honest with myself. Um, at the beginning, I was like, I can do this. What does that mean when you said you became more honest with yourself? I, you know, I realized that you can do. Um, only so much. You can do a million things, but you can't necessarily do them well. And uh, is that because you didn't feel like they, sometimes you hear that? Oh, the super mom. Yeah. I can do this. I can do that. We can do everything. Did you feel like the challenge of living up to super mom was unrealistic? Um, yeah. Well, I, I to be completely honest, um, the way I would get through on the days that I would qualify as super mom was a ton of coffee. Um, and that really had a detrimental effect on nursing. Um, mm -hmm. And so... So you nursed your babies? I did, or yeah. your baby. Yeah. I nursed my babies. Yeah, it was amazing. And, 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 well, and difficult. <laughs> I, I thought it would be amazing. The first uh, three months or so was, was, was not painful. that amazing. Yeah. yeah. At one point, I thought, I, I remember holding my son and thinking, I'm supposed to love this, but it just hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, well, and the, I thought right after the baby was born, I'm done. The, the mm -hmm. worst is, and it was incredibly painful. It like it kept going. <laughs> yes, I was surprised. Now you're you seem like you're in pretty good shape, and um, how was that for you coming out of um, getting back to the main flow of things? What about um, your body? See, this is I'm I'm not back to what I was, and mm -hmm. that's difficult for me. Um, I I do my strategy tends to be. Uh, whenever I have a little bit, my life is a little bit saner, I'll do cleanses um, mm -hmm. because that's, I, it, there's less to think about uh, 
I know a more consistent approach is probably longer term lasting, but like exercise. Oh, exercise! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exercise is. We you know what? We just joined the Y, and that has been absolutely incredible. I love that you said that. That that you joined the Y. I think it's wonderful. The yeah. Y is a, a place that touches me, and it's yeah. family and everything. Yeah. So that's really great that you could do that. Yeah. Well, and I didn't know. I didn't realize the impact of two hours of childcare a day. Mm -hmm. That it's, I. That's the only moment I get to myself in a day. So that's been huge. Yes. So it is. It's challenging being a new, being a new mom and being honest with yourself about what the approaches are. Not everything about being a new mom is a dream. But thank you, Danielle, for coming here and sharing your moments with us. And, and we can um, help bring a little of truth to childbearing, child rearing. Um, is there any advice you'd like to give to our audience? Uh, yeah, I would just say that um, I would encourage you to feel like you have permission to feel like you can do less and still be super mom. Do less and still be super mom. Thank you. After this commercial break, more Every Way Woman. I'm gonna go and live my life. That means working nine to five because I'm